minutes ago, I was telling you guys about some lawsuits revolving around KSI and Logan Paul's beverage, Prime. Back in 2022, Prime was the biggest drink to hit the market. People were going absolutely crazy over it, and the demand was so insane that the supply could not meet it leading people to sell bottles on eBay for hundreds of dollars. And in general, it looked like Prime would be an unstoppable force that would rival the likes of Gatorade and Powerade. Look, we definitely cracked the code. Yeah. And we, we hit a few really important things that are kind of like a staple marketing ploy of right. this generation. Yeah, yeah. But after the hype around the product started to cool off, and some added bad publicity and claims about Prime and Logan Paul came to light, things are not looking good for the beverage as we wrap up 2024. Just, oh my goodness! Oh! Sales have obviously plummeted, shady business practices are coming to light through the form of several large lawsuits against the company, and in general it's not looking like Prime will become the titan in the sports beverage industry like Logan and KSI had originally predicted. Give you, us the do you want the numbers? Oh, yeah, give I us want the numbers. numbers. What are all we right, dealing with here? All right, all right. Come on. All oh, right. God. In year one, yeah. 250 million in retail sales. Oh, sorry. So that was a little mistake. 100, <laughs> 110 million gross internally. Uh, in January of this year, we, we did 45 million. Oh, wow. only in January? Yeah. yeah. Now, to be completely fair to them, one of these lawsuits they faced, which I hadn't really discussed in any of my previous videos, has been settled. And that one was the claim that basically Prime was improperly marketing their energy drinks to kids, leading them towards digesting unhealthy amounts of caffeine. It was really scary. She says the 10 year old started shaking and his heart rate jumped to 120 even while staying still. But this was thrown out as the judge ruled that the consumers did not meet the standards to claim actual fraud here. But to my knowledge, there is still a class action lawsuit involving Forever Chemicals, as well as the $68 million lawsuit from the bottling company, and of course the lawsuit by the Olympic Committee against Prime. And now in the latest development, we have one of the biggest soccer stars of all time coming forward with his own lawsuit against Prime. Messi and his sports drink company Moss Plus are filing a complaint against Prime Hydration LLC. Back on June 4th of this year, Messi announced the release of the beverage on his Instagram page. Messi claims that he wanted to create this product because he could apparently not find a flavorful and healthy hydration option that suited his needs. Así que se puso a trabajar en su propia bebida. Bueno, sí, estamos acá por, por nuestro nuevo lanzamiento. Un Commenting, comparing it to Prime. And to me, this comparison is not insane. They are both colorful flavored beverages with a rigid bottle structure, and the front is bold black lettering that is at least somewhat similar, I would say. And of course, both beverages are marketing themselves using hydration as the main appeal to their product. And so obviously, this would all get back to KSI and Logan Paul. And at the time of the announcement for Moss Plus back in June, KSI would respond that the drink looked familiar, and then Prime would allegedly demand that Moss Plus cease production and stop sales unless they change their packaging. Basically, the issue that Prime has here is that when Grandpa goes to the store to pick up some Prime for little Timmy, he won't be able to tell the difference between these products. Maybe he thinks Prime is trying to tap into the Spanish community, and he ends up accidentally purchasing Moss Plus because of his confusion and inability to tell the difference between the two brands. And while the two products are obviously similar, this would be insanely hard to prove, and this attempt to throttle their product launch did not sit well with the guys over at Moss, and that's why they've now filed this complaint. Mark Anthony brings this action for a judgment declaring that its manufacture, distribution, sale, and advertising of its Moss Plus by Messi hydration beverage is lawful and non-infringing and to stop Prime Hydration's anti-competitive efforts to monopolize functional design features that are commonplace in the hydration beverage industry. Basically, they're saying that this type of branding is an industry standard. Mark Anthony is a premier beverage company behind such popular brands as White Claw Hard Seltzers, Mike's Hard Lemonade, Cayenne Jack's Ready to Drink Margarita, Ray Azul Tequila Soda, Bareface Canadian Whiskey, and basically all these other drinks. 
In June 2024, Mark Anthony launched its newest beverage, Moz Plus by Messi Hydration. Created in collaboration with global soccer star Lionel Messi, Moz Plus by Messi is an all-natural hydration drink that boasts a great taste, only 10 calories per serving, a high number of electrolytes and vitamins, and minimal sugar content. So here he's essentially laying his dick out on the table, letting everyone basically know that this ain't his first rodeo. The package designed for Moz Plus by Messi includes commonplace, functional design and branding elements, such as brightly colored labels and caps that coordinate with the flavor of the beverage, a large and vertically oriented brand logo, the placement of flavor name at the top of the label, and the identification of the contents, here 16.9 fluid ounces of 500 milliliters, that help consumers readily recognize the nature of the product. These features and others are used by dozens of other brands in the hydration beverage space, and the consumers have come to expect them of hydration beverages. Moss Plus by Messi also features numerous elements that help the brand stand out from other hydration products on the market, including the Moss Plus by Messi brand name, the repeated references on the packaging to Mr. Messi, and the brand's accent logo, among others. Now here's where the guys at Moss Plus confirm the allegation that Prime wanted them to cease production on their product even noting that there were apparent threats of a trademark and trade dress lawsuit, and that there was even a social media campaign by Prime to make Moss Plus look like nothing more than a knockoff product. And Moss Plus claims that these efforts by Prime can be categorized as non-competitive behavior. Uh, messy new drink compared to Prime. Thoughts? I don't know about you, but uh, it looks very similar to Prime. Am I right or am I right? Like, even the Ridge. Like, come on, guys. Butter has just copied our homework. It's outrageous. <laughs> Literally stole our whole flow, bar for bar. Prime Hydration lacks any enforceable trade dress rights because it does not consistently use any particular trade dress as shown in this image above. And because all the features it claims are unprotectable as common functional elements. In any event, Moss Plus by Messi and Prime have distinct brand identities, including different brand names, marketing strategies, packaging, celebrity affiliations, brand reputations, and target consumers. Demographics such that no consumer could reasonably be confused as to the affiliation or source of the products. Mark Anthony does not desire, nor has it ever desired, to be associated with Mr. Paul or KSI, nor has Mark Anthony infringed on any of Prime Hydration's other trademark rights to the extent that Prime Hydration has any such rights. Mark Anthony brings this action to put an end to Prime Hydration's anti-competitive threats and to protect its lawful right to sell its innovative and successful Moss Plus by Messi Hydration products in the United States. Now a big chunk of the rest of this filing is kind of just a marketing lesson where Moss Plus defends their right to advertise using enticing colors, well-known flavors, and even down to a vertical orientation of their logo, citing several other sports drinks who do the exact same thing. I mean, when you look at this image, well, you can argue that they all kind of rip off certain elements of each other's packaging because that's just how this game works. It's like everyone is taking a peek at their competition's paper during the test. I mean, this happens in every single field, even mine, where damn near half the thumbnails and packaging for videos look the exact same. You know, I see some thumbnails that look just like mine and I'm like, damn, when did I make this video? Oh shit, that's not my channel. And this phenomena obviously occurs because when something clearly works, others will copy it because the consumer gets familiar with that type of marketing. And let me make another point by saying marketing can only sell so much of a product if the product itself is not very good. That shit stank, down it? <laughs> something can have the greatest packaging ever with the most enticing marketing and if the product is ass people will not purchase it again it's like when you're on the road and you see a dope looking car coming up behind you and you're like damn what is that is that a new mercedes or some shit oh no nah, it's that new kia bro now in contrast to this there's obviously products that represent themselves in a very honest way and when the product is good over time, they earn a positive reputation. And speaking of a quality product, one I cannot deny is today's video sponsor Sundays for Dogs. As some of you might have- Plus goes on to defend their right to use the rigid bottle shape 
bold lettering, certain terms, and even to list the bottle volume on their products. Basically, they really get down to the nitty gritty here, breaking down every single element of their products and their marketing, and they essentially show their defense for why they made these decisions. And they really lean heavily on the affiliation with Messi here, as they say he is the main driver of their marketing, and it seems to be what they feel really makes their brand stand out from other hydration companies. Basically saying that because Messi is so well known throughout the entire world, consumers would not mistake his product for a similar looking brand. And this is where we get into the Prime side of things, where they even cite KSI's reply tweet. As shown in the image to the right, in response to a Eurofoot tweet, KSI tweeted, looks familiar, suggesting to his nearly 9 million followers on Twitter that Moss Plus by Messi is a ripoff of Prime. On June 14, 2024, Mark Anthony received a cease and desist letter from Prime Hydration's legal counsel claiming that Mark Anthony's Moss Plus by Messi products obviously and intentionally infringed on Prime Hydration's trademark and trade dress, and specifically its trade dress in Prime Hydration beverages and its Prime Hydration and Refresh, Replenish, and Refuel trademarks. In its letter, Prime Hydration demanded that Mark Anthony immediately take any and all steps necessary to discontinue all use of infringing packaging, including but not limited to discontinuing the manufacture, distribution, and sale of infringing Moss Plus products, including any necessary recall. Of course, Mark Anthony denies any infringement, and Prime allegedly sends him another cease and desist, only this time reiterating their infringement claims, and also adding issue with, the use of positive hydration, drink positive, replenish, refresh, and revive, and the electrolyte droplet symbols on the bottle slash can packaging and in advertising, the use of black or white cap on its bottles, the use of white or silver tops on its cans, a change in its size and placement of the Moss Plus brand on the bottles and cans, and or different Pantones, color shading, and palette for bottles slash cans from that established by Prime Hydration. So they had some back and forth here, and Mark Anthony would even hire an experienced survey expert to conduct a consumer perception survey to assess whether there were any measurable likelihood of confusion between Prime and Moss Plus. And that unsurprisingly, the survey demonstrated no likelihood of confusion at all between the two products, which further supported Mark Anthony's position that confusion is not likely. Still, they could not come to an agreement in this situation, Prime continued to threaten litigation, and now that's basically how we got here. Moss Plus also feels like Prime does not have consistent enough packaging or marketing for them to have trade dress rights over their products, and they even cite Logan's trip to Japan, as well as his alleged crypto scams here, basically saying that Prime is the drink of a scammer, and Moss Plus is the drink of a legend, which I just find hilarious. The two products are also advertised very differently. Prime markets primarily through social media buzz, paid YouTube influencers and content creators, and stunt-based marketing. For example, Mr. Paul and KSI launched Prime through an unorthodox public stunt in which individuals threw empty Prime bottles at them pretending to be angry to generate social media buzz and interest. Mark Anthony's marketing by Moss Plus by Messi is far more traditional by comparison. The reception to Moss Plus by Messi has been overwhelmingly positive since it entered the market. In contrast, Prime Hydration has faced significant controversy since its launch of Prime, making consumer confusion even more unlikely. For example, multiple countries, including New Zealand, Slovenia, and the Netherlands, have recalled or banned Prime energy drinks from their countries because of their appeal to children and their likelihood to cause a range of side effects. Prime Hydration is also facing multiple lawsuits, including one alleging that the company falsely advertises its products as healthy while they contain some sort of chemical, PFAs also known as Forever Chemicals, and some members of Congress, including Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, have called on the FDA to investigate Prime Hydration for its absurd caffeine content and marketing targeting kids on social media. Is that the product has so much caffeine in it that it puts Red Bull, Bull to shame. But unlike Red Bull, it is specifically targeted. The advertising campaign is targeted at kids under 18. So basically guys, they're seeking the freedom to sell their product without suing them for doing so. I mean, if I'm being completely honest, I think the products do look very similar, but also it's hilarious karma after what these clowns did with their Lunchables ripoff Lunchly. 
which obviously directly involves Prime. I mean, to me, the name Lunchly is a ripoff of Lunchables. They also use Lunchables name and likeness in a negative way for a lot of their marketing, and the composition of their product is damn near the same. And while these two might look the same, they don't taste the same, nor are they comprised of the same ingredients. I guess I'm just saying guys, if they can sell this so shamelessly, they should also have no problem with Moss Plus selling their drinks. Not to even mention the issues that Lunchly has already had with people finding mold in their lunch kits at an alarming rate. I was shooting a video comparing Lunchly to Lunchables and I opened the first package which was supposed to be good until December 8th. I'm hydration. Do you guys think that Messi and Moz Plus were doing some kind of shady shit when it came to developing this product? Do you think that it's not a coincidence that the two look almost identical? Y'all let me know down below. Uh, that's it for this reaction video. Catch you guys in the next one.